Hello everyone, my name is Partha Thirumalai. I am a product marketing manager for anti counterfeit solutions here at NXP as a part of the Secure Interface and Products Group. Today, I am going to demonstrate the functionality of our A1006 Secure Authenticator solution with the A1006 demo board. The A1006 Secure Authenticator solution delivers a true and complete end-to-end -end secure solution with the A1006 tamper resistant IC, the host software and NXP's industry leading trust provisioning services. This solution is specifically targeted for anti-counterfeit applications. Now let's get to the demo details. Here is the A1006 demo board. There are two A1006 ICs which are plugged into this board. This A1006 demo board connects to this NXP LPC Expresso board using an I2C or a one wire interface. All the DIP switches in the demo are pre configured. The LPC Expresso board acts as a bridge between the A1006 and a host PC through the USB. The host software, which controls the A1006 IC, runs in a PC platform in this demo. Here is the graphical user interface showing the activities on the host PC. Let me walk you through the authentication protocol as shown in the graphical user interface. In the beginning, we scan the demo board for A1006 devices. So as we have previously seen, you know, we have plugged in two devices here, one with a slave address of 3, another with a slave address of 55, right? And the A1006 supports two interfaces, a bus powered one wire interface and another I2C interface. For this demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the I2C interface. And then, as you can see here, you can change the address of the A1006 slave using this demo. The A1006 IC has 4 kilobit of memory. 1 kilobit of memory is used for an NXP certificate. Another 1 kilobit is used for an optional user certificate. There is 1 kilobit of system memory and there is 1 kilobit of user memory which can be used for reading and writing scratch data from the customer side. In this demo, the user memory is currently empty. As you can see here, I am writing to the user memory and um, hello secure authenticator A1006. I'm writing to that and then once you read it back you can see that the data is actually written. So this memory can be used for any scratch data for any customer usage or anything of that sort. Let's look into a step-by-step -step demo of the authentication operation. A typical one-way authentication flow involves two major steps. One is the host reading a certificate along with the certificate signature and verifying the certificate to verify the authenticity of the client device and extract the public key from the certificate. In this demo, we are verifying both the NXP signed certificate and a user certificate, which are both signed by NXP with NXP being the certificate authority. I'm just verifying the certificates, which is the first step in the process. And you can see the certificate details here, the NXP certificate as well as the user certificate. Once the certificates are verified, the next step is to issue a random challenge. The host will generate a random challenge encrypted with the public key, which it just extracted from the certificate and then send it to the A1006 IC. Only the device with the possession of the corresponding private key can respond to this challenge. Uh, as you can see here, we are generating the challenge, sending the challenge, and then since A1006 has the private key corresponding to this public key, the A1006 generates a response back, and the host is very able to verify the response, and then everything is okay here, right? So this entire flow performs a one-way authentication operation between a client A1006 device and a potential host. In case there is a counterfeit device, the device will not be able to provide a response to the random challenge. In both the cases, the authentication will fail and the host can take the appropriate response as it detected a fake device. The A1006 IC also supports a deep sleep mode in which the chip consumes very less power. This is shown in the demo here. Typically, once the host is done with the authentication operation, it can power down the chip by issuing a command across the I2C or the one wire interface. Once the chip is in deep sleep mode, the host can issue any subsequent command to wake the A1006 up for subsequent authentication operations. The A1006 Secure Authenticator solution from NXP is a complete and true end-to-end -end secure solution offering a one-stop shop for building authenticated devices and deterring even the most persistent counterfeiters. For more product details, visit nxp.com. Thank you very much.